Through the dirt and the moonshine, through tragedy and the triumphs, with the legends and the championships, we close the book on NASCAR's 75th anniversary with a melee in the desert. From humble beginnings in 1949 to all of the hair-raising, life-changing, and jaw-dropping moments in between, we converge upon Phoenix Raceway to crown the champion of the NASCAR 75 season. This is the Sports 360 AZ Championship Weekend Special. I'm your host, Devin Henry, as we cap off a historic 75th season of NASCAR racing by crowning four champions in three days here at Phoenix Raceway. The Phoenix Suns have electrified the state of Arizona, and as they head into the All-Star break, Monster Energy Supercross comes into town. One local team, Team Solitaire Nitro Blast, looks to help rally the valley as they add some extra valley pride to their dirt bikes on the professional circuit in Glendale. Lines pounded down the field, eight yard gain there by Wilson, second and two now. Fakes the pitch, under pressure, has room, end zone wide open, the Lions strike first, and a melee of an overtime restart. Cole Cutcher comes out on top to become a NASCAR Xfinity champion in NASCAR's 75th anniversary season. But I mean, every single blow that you got there in that last overtime restart, what did it take to take every single blow and return it and raise that crown at the end of the night? The dream of crossing the famed yard of bricks and bathing in the milk of Indianapolis has enticed the masses for more than a century. On the hunt for Indianapolis 500 glory is Scottsdale, Arizona's Jagger Jones, a 20-year-old partaking in the family tradition. Final Fours, the PGA, College Football National Championships, the NBA Finals, Super Bowls, the Valley has become a hot spot for championship events. NBC analyst and the 1999 Cup Series champion Dale Jarrett dissects what it means to host the NASCAR Championship here in Phoenix this year and also potentially for years to come. Conference realignment has been rampant this summer, changing the landscape of college football and especially right here in Arizona. That also includes Arizona Christian University. Devin Henry out in Glendale where ACU is coming off their second appearance in the NAIA National Playoff. And now the Firestorm football program makes a move to one of the most competitive groups in the NAIA, the Frontier Conference. Hey, you told me yesterday you guys have the pre-race fun all set up, the Top Golf, the Steakhouse. How in the world do you beat your fun from 2021? And more importantly, how do you beat the post-race interview again? <laughs> from Daytona to Indianapolis, two of the most iconic racetracks in the entire world. Two iconic trophies too. So I mean, we're, there's gotta be a special spot for these <laughs> trophies, right? Like you gotta admire them from time to time. <clears throat> Second and 10, Bruzon with time, floats it over the middle to the end zone. 50-50 ball taken away by South Point Catholic. Interception second of the game for Nathan Spivey. And and then there's these like RC drag, how do you get into drag boats? It, was that you trying to figure out how to help your dad's missness? To throw some nitrous in, in this boat here, see what it does to his boat too? Like, how do you get into that? No. It's the biggest party in all of sports. The Savannah Banana is doing it even just in pregame. Devin Henry here, BYU Sports Complex, where the Bananas are along with 12,000 of their closest friends in the biggest Savannah ball game of all time. The energy is here, the fans are going crazy. The kids were asking for my autograph too. But you know what? Every single person on the field knows what this is all about. Thanks for every single fan here. That's one heck of a time. Woolery drives, tried to find Odin. Michael Saba for Chaparral eyes the floor. Coast to coast off the glass and is able to flick it in. That's the first field goal tonight for Michael Saba. The number one thing about tonight, took you a while to get the right hat size. Have you decided what you're doing with the hat? We talked to Michael. You want to be on the break as little as humanly possible. So what we're going to try to do here, keep this puppy on the gas. We've got a green flag going right here. Let's go, baby. Malcolm in the middle is kind of getting like three wide in the middle. What <laughs> is there kind of a reference that you think is kind of just under the radar? Well, I was in a movie called Racing Stripes, and we can say that I'm getting my racing stripes this weekend. First time here in Phoenix. When you talk about teams with something to prove, my first thought is those teams who had the last spot in the 18 brackets this year, starting with, of course, West Valley team Shadow Ridge, their first tournament appearance since 2013. But can they back it up? Soon to be senior quarterback returning Seth Gallardo earned that starting spot against Basha with a 10 point win to open up 
Can they show that they can be a contender moving forward and not fall back out of the tournament next year? New Arizona takes on Mississippi State in a couple of best of three series. Now we head back to Mesa for the Desert Challenge Games. Blake Leeper earned two medals back in 2012 at the London Paralympic Games, but his dreams are bigger than that. He wants to be part of the Olympic Games and nearly was in Tokyo in 2021. Jordan Hamm has more. Inside the cockpit, what are some difficulties that you guys face that guys watching the race, they just don't really understand, they can't really comprehend just watching from the outside? A monumental run for the prestige worldwide racing driver in that green number four machine. Oh. Contact for the lead. Harlow moves Dobbs up the track. New leader of the 19 and Dobbs slides back to four. Only the 11th batter that Scheifelbein has faced. Horwath just trying to become the third Sunrise Mountain Mustang to get on base against Scheifelbein. 2-2. Two, two. Chopper to the third baseman. Barehanded grab by Charles to get the out. What a play. Max Charles, the San Diego State commit. Cannot wait to see who races the cup and becomes a NASCAR champion here at Phoenix on Sunday. I'm Devin Henry. Make it a great weekend.